daily journeys. First beer of the day, got a nice little bubble going on on your beer. Kampai. Cheers, mate. We're going to down this one. Yeah. Got a question for you. Why, why can't we drink in the stadium? What's going on? Corona. Corona. So, so um, no beers allowed in the stadium. So yeah. we're going to smash. Got a little bag of beers here, them, them little lemon 5 percenters. I mean, only 5 percenters. Rocket fuel. J League, if you want to sponsor us on these, or anyone wants to sponsor us on these, reach out. Cheers, thanks. Um, so, so how has um, how has coronavirus uh, changed foot, uh, watching a football game in um, Japan at the moment? What are the stadiums like? What's the regulations? You can't can't cheer, can't drink. You have to clap. That's it. You're allowed to clap. Okay. Do you think it takes the fun out of it a little bit? Hundred percent, man. Hundred percent. Yeah. Like the Marino Stadium holds what fifty thousand. I've never seen more than probably fifteen thousand there anyway. Wow. But I think it's limited to five. Yeah. Five thousand, not five people. <laughs> five thousand yeah. people. So yeah. it's going to be a bit grim. Like obviously social distance seating as well. So like me and you, for example, we got one seat apart from where we sit in. Oh right, okay. Um, so it's hard to get. So we can't hold hands then. Can't hold hands. No. Normally the fan zones are the most fun place to see it, but like it all sold out immediately. So our tickets today are not great. Yeah. But so you've seen this team before, right? But, yeah, 15, maybe 10, 15 times. What are the fans like? They're nice, man. They're nice. Like, Marinos traditionally a pretty good team, mm. but at the same time, they haven't had a huge amount of success over the last few years. They've yeah. lost some big players. Like, the stadium's empty most of the time. But this this match uh, should hopefully be a good win for them. So okay. Sean and Ben Mare have, lo have lost, I think, all their games away this season. Marinos have got Maida. Uh, his top scorer for the J League this season. So, so we should see a goal. Your original prediction of nil nil. Are you sticking with that? Sticking with it, man. Sticking okay. With it. Stick, I, I, whenever I watch them, they, they're terrible. Yeah. I'm okay. I, I'm going to change my prediction, knowing that they've got the top scorer and they're, they're playing against a team that's on a bad run. So I'm going to go three nil with Maida to score first. Put a bet on. Where's Billy Hills at, man? Yep. Where's Billy Hills. Let's go. See it. Yeah. Anyone? Stretching his thighs out. Go on, lad. Go on, lad. Go on, lad. Who's, where do you think he's from? Russia. Oh, Russia. He's the only one that's not wearing fucking knee braces. Look at that double knee brace on at least two of them. What are you yeah. saying? Um, I'm, I'm looking for some food. There's so many choices. So many unique, so many uh, unique things. You can get like rice bowl stuff here. Um, you got some um, dango over there. I don't even know what the English is for that thing. Delicious. Here, what you got? Steak. I think there's a Hawaiian somewhere. Kebab. What are you saying? The choices, man. You don't get the British classic hamburger, you know. But uh, it's sport for choice, really, yeah. so can't it's go wrong. Ridiculous. Uh, as a Guna, when you go to Emirates Stadium and you get Bovril in a cup. Shut up, man. Don't know. Not having any of that. Delicious, mate. Not having any of that. In the winter, you get a good old cup of Bovril and watch a, watch a game of footy. No, 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 no. Bro! Bro! They have a hub stand. You should say, let's go. All right, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 for the food, mate. <laughs> what is the hub doing over there? What you got there? Gin tonic from the hub. Gin tonic. Uh, stadium sand. That's Never the, seen this before. This is sick. That's that's the classiest uh, drink I've ever seen anyone drink outside a football stadium. <laughs> Love it. Well, I'm gonna down it and try and get blackout. So, <laughs> cheers, boys. That's lush. No, the build-up play is good though. Like you feel like a golf to come.
Go on, lad, whip it in, whip it in. Oh, I mean, it's a nice ball, but be a bit more aggressive. Oh, why are you laying that back? Come on, come on, someone have a go, someone have a go. Good save, keeper. Cursor. Who wants it? Who wants it? Who wants it? Keeper wants it. Shocking corner there. Have a go. Top bin it. Top bin it. Top bin it, lad. Top bins. Dog shit. Hello, hello. What you got, mate? Um, I've got here a little Frankfurt sausage on a stick um, and some yakisoba and a Frank beer which is just down by my feet. But, um, yeah, not bad, really good price to be honest. What would you pay for that? So for the beer here, in a nice Yokohama. Yes, bro. Cup, Love it. Um, with the, the Frankfurt and the yakisoba, uh, the fried noodles, I'm looking at 1,500 yen. So you're looking at about, in pounds, you're looking at about a tenner. Tenner. What's that? In, 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 you're looking at about 15 dollars US. Yeah. 10 pounds. You know, not bad. I got the yakisoba as well. And I got the karaage, some little fried chicken in there. And then, obviously, obviously, the beer. Can't pay to that, brother. This is where the main cost of this really comes from. This food is really cheap. Yes, bro. It's a little bit intense though, isn't it? What is it? The music. Yeah. How's the, um, how's the soba, man? It's good. Um, it's got these bits of uh, fried, uh, dried shrimp on it. I've had uh, yaki soba a million times in Japan at festivals. Yeah. Everything. I've, I've, I've never seen that before. It's a staple at a stadium. But yeah, right. putting Ebi in it, who knows? Maybe... I, I think it, it, it adds a bit of... Um, Mummy to it, you know. All right. Salt going, great with beer. I think that's why they've done it. it goes well with beer. Oh, I rate that. What are you giving your food out of ten? Price for a stadium, I give it a solid, solid eight out of ten. I'm really impressed by. For the price, yeah, it's not bad, yeah. Eight out of ten. The taste, I give it, um, I give it a seven. It's very standard. Overall then, uh, overall, what are you giving the food out of 10? 7, 8? I'll go for an 8. 8 out of 10? Really? Because of the variety. I've never seen pies. To be fair, they, they had pies, yeah. They had pies, hot dogs, a lot. Yeah, do you know what? I'll, I'll give it a 7. Okay. So if you give it an 8, I'll give it a 7. That's 7.5 out of 10 for the food here. Yep. That's not bad. No, not bad. Not bad, mate. Not bad. What should we say for the... Stadium. I mean, obviously, like if, if there's a running track around the stadium, for me it's a minus one. Yeah. Straight off the bat. Yep, yeah, the fans are too far away from the pitch. Um, and it, it lets the stadium down overall because um, it's actually quite a nice stadium. It is, yeah. It's a lovely stadium. It was World Cup final 2002, wasn't it? Yeah. Like, it's class, but I mean, look how far away we are. Mm. I mean, it's lush. It is absolutely lush. If this was rammed with spectators, with fans, mm. it'd be rocking. Mm. But as a stadium, I'm going to give it a seven overall because, I mean, the info, well. Yeah, I'll give it a seven because I think the accessibility isn't great. We have to get a bus to get here. So. Yeah, it's kind of in the middle of nowhere. There's got a running track around it. But when you get in, it is nice. Cheers to that. Cheers, mate. I'll tell you what, actually, let me... Uh, let me give you a proper cheers, man. Cheers, pal. Cheers. Campaign. Trading journeys get back up. It's been, what, five minutes? Six, six, six and seven. Game's a bit dead, to be honest, man. Yeah. You might be right with your prediction, I think. I yeah. said nil nil. I said nil nil. Look at it. Watch this, he's probably going to score this now. Yeah. Shonen look like they want it more. Where's the clap? There's got to be a clap coming. Of course there's a clap. What a love.
Well done, lads. Good clapping. Good clapping, lads. Like, it's a bit creepy, man. Like, like, genuinely, like, the stadium is, like, silent all the time. Like, the atmosphere is poor, no? I mean, obviously, Corona is an issue, but... Yeah. Drop my top six. <laughs> Dirty gaijin, man. <laughs> but, but seriously, like, I've been to a lot of games in Japan. Yeah. And obviously, like, Corona's been... Oh, it's a ball. Corona's been an issue for quite a few, but... Yeah, but no, I'd, I'd here we go, here we go, here we go. Ah, oh, what an awful... Why did he go for the Travella? Final ball. His final ball is awful. Like the away fans are clapping because the keeper caught a cross. <laughs> That's how wild it's got, man. A terrible cross at that. Shocking. Volleyed it. Touched it and then volley. Bang into the corner. Are you kidding me, bro? Let's go replay that. Average. Average, mate. That was a decent ball, man. Average. He volleyed it in from a one touch assist. That's Could do that. Ball. One new Marinos. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. One one. That's a good goal. They finally scored from across. What <laughs> what I like is that when when Marinos score, they show the replay on the screen. When your away team score, they don't show anything. <laughs> one one. To be fair, it's a good header. It's a good game to watch. Um, First game for me to see in the pandemic, and um, I enjoyed myself. I, you know, a five out of ten, five out of ten. You know, Is that in terms of like game quality? Do you game mean game quality? Yeah, it's a five mm. out of ten. I mean, it was, um, I mean, what, what we said yeah. a stadium was a seven point five. Um, food was a, was a good like eight out of ten. Yeah, the food is good. Like the location is pretty bad, honestly. Like it's kind of convenient to get to from Yokohama, but you got to take a train or you got to walk or you got to take mm -hmm. a bus. You got the running track around the pitch, which I hate. But the yeah. fans are cool, the fans are nice. Um, food is good, can't really complain. Obviously, if, th if there's no COVID, a bit few more fans in the stadium, um, you know, a little bit more like passion. Who knows? Could exactly. Be better, but, there we um, go. Considering the situation, like, we're lucky because you look at the Prem back in England, no fans allowed. It's a blessing. There you go. When you compare it to the Prem, this is a 10 out of 10 right now. Yeah. We're blessed to have what we have. There you go. Daily drinks. Obviously, the goal of this series is to figure out which is the best match day in Japan. Yeah. Right, like from J1 to J3. Yeah, exactly. And we we paid maybe what, like, for food, travel, drinks, like tickets, yeah. six, seven thousand yen. Yeah, not right. much. That's not, that's much. not that's not chump change, but at the same time, like for a day out and to have a yeah. good time, that's good value. It's very good value. The quality of the footballs we say is like not fantastic. Yeah. But. I mean, the people were great, and yeah. it was a great day. FC Yokohama, Munoz, good day out. If, if you're thinking about where where should I go visit? Yeah. Um, you, like you're in Tokyo, you're in you're in Kanto for a week. I want to see a game. FC Yoko, Yokohama, Munoz, can't go wrong. Yep. It's a good time. It, it, it's worth the time if you can you, you can do it. You know. Jelly journeys, jelly journeys. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny Jennings.